Hi everybody, how are you guys doing today? Welcome back to my channel. My name is Relitza and this is Readings with Rally. I hope that you guys are doing well. So we are gonna be taking a look at your next, um, the rest of 2023. So I'm excited to take a look at this reading. Those of you who do weekly readings with me will understand a little bit about the um, format. We're gonna look at a few different areas, love and money, career, wait, no, <laughs> love and romance, career and money, and health and well-being. Um, in addition, we're going to pull some general messages of things that you might be needing to work on between now and the beginning of 2024. I cannot believe how quickly this year has flown by. Can you guys believe it? I literally i am shook every time I think about it. So um, always remember that this is not a personal reading. This is a general reading. In order to book a personal reading you or in order to get a personal reading, you're just going to need to book a personal reading, okay? So not all messages will be for all people. I'm really trusting you guys to work on your discernment um, and your inner growth and awareness so that, that you can really align and make the best decisions and understand what's for you and what's not, okay? So is there anything else? Mm, I don't think so. So uh, we will have three piles to choose from today. Pile number one, we have the black onyx point. Pile number two, we have the seashell. Pile number three, we have the rose quartz. Now, of course, if you needed some more time, you can always pause the video here. I'm going to go ahead, though, and start with pile number one. Okay. Hello, hello, pile number one. How are you guys doing? If you chose the Black Onyx Point, then this is your reading. Welcome. I hope that you're doing well. I'm just going to go ahead and connect with your energy so that I'm best able to channel what needs to be channeled. So, Spirit, are you able to help connect me to the energy of pile number one? Please come forth with messages of truth, clarity, and accuracy for PAL 1 so that they can have the best possible reading. As always, we wanted to say a big thank you to you for your support, for your clarity, and for your accuracy. Thank you, thank you, thank you. We ask that you continue to keep PAL 1 safe, protected, and grounded throughout each day, and that you help align them with the highest possible timeline for them. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Okay. Okay, the first word I heard was queen. So I really feel many of you guys are stepping into like this alignment, you know, there's a sense of being visible. There's a sense of being seen. There's a sense of feeling more open and inspired to be yourself. I was also seeing roses exchanging hands. Roses for me are, you know, always a symbol of love. And in fact, roses are the highest vibrational flower we have here on this particular planet. Um, so I feel like there is romance in the air for some of you. Now it's interesting too, because I was hearing the word vengeful. So there could also be somebody that is around you being a little bit vengeful or trying to really weigh you down. Um, just be aware of that. I want you guys to, to function and protect yourself, okay? Let's tap in here. I'm hearing the name Timothy. Okay, Timothy. Let's take a look, please. Pile number one, money and career for the rest of 2023. Eight of Wands. Knight of Coins, Three of Coins. Okay, this is actually pretty beautiful. Um, many of you guys are gonna receive a message here around a new work opportunity. Um, this could be to work with an earth sign person, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. You may be working in earth dominated fields, such as environmental science, um, anything to do with like environmentalism, but also like close to the earth. So things like plants, nurseries, um, you know, apothecaries, things like this. I feel like some of you are accomplishing a major uh, degree as well as what I'm hearing. So someone here is definitely moving forward and is receiving some kind of download about how they need to be working with the natural state of the earth. This feels very positive though. If for those of you who have been working on increasing your money, I do feel it coming incrementally towards the end of the year. So don't give up on that because I feel like spirit is offering you, you know, more opportunities here some of you might start a second stream of income there's a lot of communication though okay so i want you guys to really make sure that you're trying to keep your shit together excuse my french but i feel like there's going to be a lot of different communication a lot of different people talking um to you trying to pull you aside you may have felt like you fumbled something as well this could have been in the first quarter of 2023, but it's actually going to come back around or you're going to get a, a chance at a, a, another opportunity. I'm also hearing childlike. So some of you may be working with children or you may be wanting to connect with like, what is it that I wanted to do when I was a child? How can I um, further work with that frequency so that I feel good about myself and so that I'm able to, you know, make a decision for what I want to do going forward. 
And again, some of you could be earth sign or working closely with an earth sign person, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. Very slow, steady progress here, but progress nonetheless. This feels really nice to me. Some of you may end up signing a new contract specifically in the month of August. Tell me about their love life, please, for the rest of 2023. Six of Cups. Reconciliation. Somebody coming out from the past, reaching out to you again. The King of Cups. This could be a water sign. Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces. This person's got a lot of feelings. Knight of Wands. Okay, my loves. For some of you, oh my gosh, some of you might have two different options popping up, okay? One of these is a bit older than you, Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces. This person's very mature. They might have had a difficult time though expressing their full emotions and now it's like they want to come clean. This person wants to talk to you. They want to share something with you that they feel is really, really important. The other one is like a fire sign person, Leo, Aries, Sagittarius. This person is very sexy, but they're not like super serious, you know? Um, so, I mean, I don't have to fault this person either way. We're all allowed to kind of do what we need to do, but you might feel a little bit frustrated with this person's energy because they're not as like serious or grounded as you would like them to be you definitely have options and both of these people do feel like there's a past life connection or you they are literally coming back from your past um there could be a cultural difference here and one of these people you may have went to school with but you have options for sure you know um definitely tell me about health and well-being for pal one three of swords okay you might need to watch your heart lovers some of you could be dealing with grief or sadness, pain. Um, I'm also hearing nerves or nervous system. Okay, pile number one, you might need to be working around that. This is a really good time to pull apart any kind of issues, specifically around the past or around things that were making you feel sad and feel like you're filled with grief. You're being asked to clear and to be warm. There's something here about sharing your feelings with other people. Some of you may do talk therapy as well with that lover's card. Okay, that's Gemini energy. You may also be wanting to step a little bit outside of the box in terms of working with a new way of feeling positive and feeling good. But you don't want to let your emotions stagnate because I feel like that could create issues for you. Tell me more, please. What does Pan 1 need to know for the rest of their 2023? We have air sign, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. You guys could be an air sign, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. There could be a significant air sign coming into your life or you're being asked to work with the frequency of air. Mercury energy, right? Talking, communication. Um, really just making sure that you are clearing the air, talking to people, being honest, working on your throat chakra. All of these things could be very highly indicated. I do want to say here that we have a shit ton of people cards, okay? So you guys could just have a lot of different people that you're needing to chat with or something. Tell me more. We have no, it's not the right time. Some of you came here with a specific question and the answer to that is no. Let's start, so let's see some events here. What are some things that pile number one can expect to happen? We have marriage, okay? Someone here could be meeting their marriage partner. Okay, you may also be um, figuring out that somebody around you is divorcing. You guys could start to divorce. There's definitely issues here around partnerships. We have dog barking advice from a friend. Some of you are also gonna be listening to your friends about a situation. You're going to be asking for help this is fine. It's always fine to ask for help. But one thing I do also want to say here is to make sure that um, when you're asking for help, you are really taking into consideration that person's own issues. Okay. I don't know why that's coming up, but this person may have some issues of their own and they might not really be able to give you like unbiased advice, if that makes sense. And I think what you guys really need is unbiased advice at this time. And I'm noticing the roses. Did I not say the first thing I saw was rose? So I, I feel like that's really interesting. There's roses here as well. What is a warning for pile number one for 2023 for the rest of it? Secret lovers. One of the warnings, my loves, and I do see here that you have multiple people coming in, but there could be something very secretive about some of these people. So you may feel like you're being hidden and that's completely true. Like, I feel like if you feel like you're being hidden, someone could try to say that you're over-exaggerating or whatever. That's not true. You are definitely being hidden. You know, someone's not trying to, you know, share with other people the connection or again you could be needing to do something secret i'm seeing fest i'm seeing like a christmas tree so this could take place around in the holidays tell me one more do we have another warning for pile number one more of a um tip than a warning i would say 
Divine Feminine, Gifts of Heightened Intuition, Compassion, Creativity, and Receiving. You guys really, one of the best ways to sort of channel your energy, especially if you're feeling a little bit frustrated or annoyed um, or unsure, is to tap into your Divine Femininity between now and the end of the year. And again, this is energy, not gender. We all have it. Um, but there's definitely this need to remember to be in that energy, especially if you feel confused, you know, working with your divine femininity is going to help you be able to pick the right choices for yourself and to make sure that you're aligning with what it is that you need to align with. There's definitely a lot of um, positivity, but there's also a lot of people and the more people, the more confusion. So there's a need to be discerning around those individuals. Overall, it feels like a very busy and active rest of the year. I imagine you guys will be very surprised by some of the things that occur for you. Um, it feels like things are flowing along. Again, mindful. be mindful of the heart. Okay, Be mindful of your heart energy. If you're feeling low, if you're feeling sad, make sure that you're kind of clearing out what needs to be cleared out. Okay, Super, super important stuff. And I love you guys. Okay. Hello, pal too. If you guys chose the seashell, then this is your reading. Welcome. I hope that you guys are doing well. I'm just going to go ahead here and connect with your energy so that I can best channel. So spirit, are you able to connect me with the collective energy that chose pal number two, the seashell? Please come forth with messages of truth, clarity, and accuracy for pal two so that they can have the best possible reading. As always, we wanted to say a big thank you to you for your support for your clarity and for your accuracy. Thank you, thank you, thank you for everything that you do and for everything that you continue to do each and every day. We love you so much. Okay, you know what I, I heard? I heard I can finally fit into my jeans. Okay, so that's must be for somebody. Um, someone here is probably going to be working out, getting a bit more in shape, focusing on, on your fitness. This is going to have a positive effect. You're gonna be able to fit into something that you weren't able to fit into for a while. I'm also seeing a lot of crow energy around you. So you may be seeing a lot of blackbirds or you may be communicating here with a lot of birds um, or they could be trying to communicate with you. You're being asked to be careful about who you're idolizing or who you're placing on a pedestal. Um, and I'm also getting a lot of energy around nesting. So somebody here could be pregnant and about to give birth, but there's also an emphasis on the home, you know, making sure that you feel comfortable. Okay, we're gonna start off with money and career. Rest of 2023, money and career for pile number two, please. You have four, I'm gonna take them all. Wheel of Fortune, the Chariot, the Four of Coins, and the Page of Coins. Oh my goodness, this is very interesting. There could be a quick and sudden offer that comes your way, pile number two. This could be um, starting right now, which is Cancer season, all the way up to Sagittarius season. So pretty much until now, until the end of the year, where there could be significant Cancer or Sagittarius person, or Pisces person, I'm also hearing. And we also have Earth, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. Okay. This has been something that you've been trying to create for a long time, and it's just not been working for you for whatever reason. Well, I'm really getting all of a sudden things moving in a really positive way. You're going to be feeling very happy, very aligned, very ready to take accountability and to kind of like walk through the gates and see what's around the corner here. You may also travel or spend a significant time abroad, um, or this work opportunity could take you to new places that you've never seen before. Some of you are going to feel like your luck is finally turning, and this could be after a long period of time, for some of you, even four years. You're also being asked to be careful about, um, you know, not spending all of your money. I know that sounds weird, but that is coming through. I want you to make sure that you're using your money effectively, but you're not like wasting it. You know, like don't overextend yourself. Put, put some money aside for a rainy day. Um, but this feels really positive and very surprising energy around your career. Some of you may also be deciding to go back to school. That's really well indicated, um, especially if you're starting in early 2024. Some of you who have children as well could need to spend additional resources on your children. Tell me about love, or even if you don't have your own children, but you have like nieces, nephews, etc. Tell me please about love for Pell 2 between now and the end of the year. King of Cups, Cancer Scorpio Pisces energy. Ace of Cups, okay, and we have the Three of Cups, okay. You guys may have some kind of person come back from the past. This person wants to reconcile with you or they wanna offer you reconciliation. This person is a little bit of a player player, okay? They could have had you in a third party situation before, so please be careful with this person because I still feel like this person um, has some faults. I'm also hearing muscle. This person could be very muscly. They could have a, a bun. 
Um, and this person could also be very healthy. I feel like this person has like a really nice physique or something. There's something about this person that does turn you on for sure. I feel this person misses you a lot though. And I do think they want to offer you some kind of love offer, some kind of reconciliation, but this person also, um, is a little bit offbeat. There's something about this person that feels still a little, you know, um, not really direct with you. And I don't really like that. This person could be having lucid dreams or you could be having lucid dreams. You might notice a lot of vivid dreaming actually. And this is spirit trying to communicate with you. Tell me about pile two's health. Four of Wands, okay. Tell me about their health, please. Five of Cups. Eight of Cups, okay. Pile number two. You might be realizing that you need to walk away from some kind of a situation that's simply not providing you with any happiness. Um, in fact, this could even be like a family dynamic or a family member, somebody who's just not really helping you, you know? This person feels like they're really trying to make you feel low, sad, upset. They've been berating you. There could be issues here around um, water, kidneys, bloating, hypertension, the abdomen, hormones, okay? So, and this is all connected to this person from the past who feels like they're either your partner or a family member. Someone who is like a soulmate to you, but they're not really respecting you or giving you the kind of energy that you deserve. Be very careful about this. You need to walk away from some kind of patterns here and habits. And I was hearing I could fit in my jeans. So maybe this also will help with feeling better about yourself. Some of you are working out a lot on your legs as well. That's super random, but I did just hear that. Pile two, please. We have love spell. You've been bewitched. Okay, be careful with this king of cups, my loves, okay? I just have to say that whoever this person is, um, this person is really kind of trying to win you over. And I'm not really sure that this person has like the best intentions towards you. They feel very, very um, self-centered and self-focused. And I just worry about you guys being around this individual because this person doesn't feel very fair. We also have caution. Find out more information. Don't overwork yourself. Yeah, this person you're being asked to be cautious with them. But I also wanna say that this caution applies to this job offer, especially if it's new. Um, you might just wanna make sure that you're double, triple checking the contract, you're reading everything over. You're just really trying to make sure that you are aware of what exactly is being said here. We have moving on the bottom of the deck, change of residence, moving in with your partner, but there's definitely some kind of move. This could be connected to work. What are some events that might happen for them? We have horse short journey. I do feel between now and um, 2024, you guys are going to take at least one, if not more, significant vacations. I'm going to take say between one, one to three, actually. For some of you, these are just like weekend getaways or short trips, but they still have a big, big, big impact in your life for some reason that's coming through. We have August. Okay, August could be a really big month as well. Someone here could be born in August. Um, that could just be a time frame where, you know, you might start to notice a lot of these things picking up. You could be dealing with a year, somebody born in the year of the horse who is born in August. So yeah, there's a lot of energy around that time frame. You might be moving north. I'm seeing black and white photos. So you may be looking at old photos or you may want to take some um, artsy photography or something of yourself. Okay, uh, Spirit, what are some warnings for pile two between now and the end of the year? We have exes. Yo, you guys gotta watch out for these people coming back from the past, like holy smokes. Past lovers, crushes, friends, estranged family, and past experiences. Yeah, you guys, please be careful because there's somebody here from the past. There could be multiple different people coming back from the past. And it's incredibly important to be very discerning um, if you're letting these people near you. You know, I really, really want you to be cautious and just make sure that you're using your own protection so that if you're letting people come near you, you're being very discerning of what you're saying to them, what you're telling them, what you're sharing with them and vice versa. Because not everybody is going to be out to have like a positive experience. You know, not everybody's going to be wanting to see you grow. And that's really important to note. These people are wanting you to open up their hearts or open up your heart, but they also are really um, struggling with, you know, really feeling open. And I still feel manipulation, which to me is always like a big red, big red flag. We have jackpot wins. 
you might win something here as well. Okay, you might have some kind of joy coming into your life, um, some kind of surprise win. And this is coming up as a warning, remember. So we need to make sure that if you do get some kind of win, you're not really sharing that with lots of people. You're being pretty protective of yourself and you're not just like letting everybody know that this is something that you're experiencing, okay? Be very, very discerning. Some of you could get a cat, a stray cat is what I'm hearing. So you might have a cat show up randomly. I'm also hearing you are the weakest link. Goodbye. I forget what that's from. Is it who wants to be a millionaire? I don't really remember, but some of you are going to be putting um, something to end here or putting aside a connection finally for once and for all. Okay. That's what I have, pile one. Interesting, interesting energy. Very interesting. I didn't say, I, did I say pile one? I meant to say pile two. You guys might want to watch pile one. I just feel like there's a lot of energy with the past returning for some reason. Some of you may have even been like trying to manifest this person, but I just don't like them. I don't know why. There's something about this ener their energy that feels very snaky, if that makes sense. Um, so I just want you guys to be careful, okay? Please, please, please. Okay. All right. I believe the pile three was the um, strawberry quartz, but I'm really like, my head is not very focused, so forgive me. You'll know if this is your pile because it is pile three, um, but even if it's a different stone or if I picked accidentally the wrong stone, I apologize. My brain's not really been here. Um, yeah, my mom has um, terminal cancer, so she's in the process of passing away, so just cut me some slack, please, and please, 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 I beg of you, if I mess this up, okay, you know, my brain's not super active in the way it used to be, anyways, enough of that, pile three, I'm just gonna go ahead here and connect with your energy so that I can have the best possible reading for you, okay, so just give me one second, spirit, are you able to connect me to the energy here of pile number three, Please come forth with messages of truth, clarity, and accuracy for Pile 3 so that they can have the best possible reading. As always, we wanted to say a big thank you to you for your support, for your clarity, and for your accuracy. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Thank you for everything that you do. Please continue to keep Pile 3 safe, protected, and guided throughout this day and all of the days of their life. Thank you. Okay, um, I'm hearing the ballad of John and, and is it called Yoko? Ballad of John and Yoko. I think that's what it's called. By the Beatles. So that song could have some kind of um, meaning for you guys. I'm also hearing tree. So some of you guys need to connect with nature, need to go outside more, spend some time around the trees. I feel like there's a big achievement that's going to take place within the next six months. In fact, the number six could be important here. You guys could be seeing multiple sixes. Um, you might be a life path six or born in the month of June. I feel there's some sense here of business being conducted, but it's interesting too, because I feel like there's an element of cleaning things up. I was also hearing soap. So someone here could be making soaps or that could be your business plan or business idea, which by the way, I think is a great plan because everybody always needs soap, right? Yeah, let's tap in here. Pile number three, please. What do we need to know regarding their money and career, please? Pile three. Three of swords, money and career for pile three. Three of coins. Page of Wands. Okay. Okay, pile three. I do feel here like there could have been some kind of painful ending around money and career. For some of you, you could have been let go from a job or you could have walked away from a position. Um, and it, it does feel kind of sad. So I think whatever this is, there's like an energy of emotions around this. So this feels like something that you maybe didn't want to walk away from or you were forced to walk away from. But I have to say, if you guys have been feeling like you're on a bit of a break in terms of work, that there's a lot of shifting coming your way and it's coming quite rapidly, you are going to get a new opportunity for an offer. This will take place during fire sign seasons, Leo, Aries, Sagittarius. Um, so because we are actually, well, Leo season, so that's July, August, late July, August. The next one would be Sagittarius season, which is November, December. But it's almost like spirit needed you on a little bit of a break um, for some reason, because there's a lot of emotionality going on with you guys, pile three, and you're being ne you're needing to sort of work through that still. Okay, that's one thing I'm hearing. Some of you might need to spend a lot of money on your children, or there could be additional expenses that come up here with your children. You might feel a little annoyed at this or frustrated, but it is coming up so that you're able to clear it and push past it. 
someone's child here could want to go to an expensive camp or might get into an expensive program. Um, so just be aware that that's something that could happen between now and the end of the year. You need to let something go though, okay? And prioritize yourself. Tell me about pile number threes, love life between now and 2020, the end of 2023, 10 of swords. Yeah, you guys have been through some emotional pain for sure, page of cups. And we have seven of cups. Hmm. You guys have lots of options, but a lot of these options, they feel like they're kind of immature or they're not really like giving you what it is that you want. Cause I feel you're like a little annoyed with these people almost, like you're kind of resisting them. Some of you could have had a big betrayal happen in the past that you're still working through. And that's something that spirit is encouraging you to continue to do. You do need to clear whatever this thing is, especially so you're able to move forward. So give yourself the space, the time, the energy, and the effort to clear, 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 okay? Super, super important. Don't let things settle or get trapped within your body. You will have options, but some of these options don't feel very mature. And it feels like nothing really gets out of the dating stage, if that makes sense. Now, if you already have a partner, there could be lots of talks here about children, um, or there's definitely some kind of an issue that needs to be resolved from the past or from when your childhood. This could be on your end or this person's end. But there's something that's a little bit restrictive for both of you here, okay, that both of you are needing to sort of work on. I'm hearing the song Ride by 21 Pilots, so that song could be important here. Be careful when you're drinking and dating as well. I don't know why that's coming up. Tell me about um, their their health, please. Health and well-being. Justice, the Four of Swords, okay. One more. And the Hanged Man. You're finally going to feel movement after a long time in terms of your health. Um, I also feel your sleeping is improving. Some of you have really been having a very, very tough time sleeping, resting, um, you know, caring for yourself. You've been really struggling. I do feel like this chapter is going to be coming to an end and you, you seem to be a lot more balanced and a lot more ready to take accountability and to take control. Someone here could also be winning a lawsuit. I don't typically deliver advice like that or say something like that, but that's coming through pretty strongly. So there could be a lawsuit that, you know, you really come out on top of. Um, I feel like, again, there's like this issue with like, or not this issue, but I guess there's like an energy around like dredging up things from the past and clearing things from the past. And I actually am seeing this as something that's really quite positive, but it might be overwhelming to do, you know, like you might be feeling very tired but it's still important work that you know you need to complete. Oops, that's too many. And that's also my bad because I dropped it. Tell me more. Pile number three, please. What did they need to know for the rest of 2023? We have earth sign, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. Okay, so you might be dealing with a significant earth sign person, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. Whenever I see that earth sign card too, I know that you guys are in the process of building something. And whatever it is that you're building, you want it to be stable. So you're really in this process of stabilizing your energy, acting, you know, stable, calm, so that you're able to actually create some kind of a movement. There's nothing holding you back from actually achieving something here. Tell me more. We have Guardian. A lost loved one watches over you. So again, yeah, you might have like a um, past person coming up here you know, a, a spirit guide, a mentor. This specifically feels like an ancestor to me. So it feels like somebody's parent or grandparent. Um, this person feels older. So even if this was a friend, they would be a little bit older than you. But I feel like somebody on the spiritual side is trying to give you a gift or a sign. And this is completely of their doing. So whatever this thing is, you're going to be surprised. But this person is going to give you something that makes you feel very, very special, very happy and very excited. And I feel like this is going to be quite positive. Can I get two more? What are two activities that might happen for them? We have lightning, control your anger, or you will be sorry. Okay, one more. And we have shield, you need to defend yourself. Yeah, there's something here around like people being very harsh towards you or kind of a little cruel even. And I feel you guys are really stepping into you know, your personal power and your personal integrity, where you're really wanting to be very um, upfront with somebody about the way that they've made you feel. Um, now, this is completely okay, but Spirit's also suggesting that you be careful about, you know, not running your mouth too much, you know? You can tell people what you feel without being completely ridiculous. 
I also want to say here that somebody could get caught in a lightning storm. It's very rare that I see that lightning storm as an actual lightning storm, but for some reason that's coming through. So I have to just trust that that's gonna be for somebody. So please shield yourself, especially if you know you're out and there's a dangerous situation involving lightning. What else, please? What does pile number three need to be aware of or warned about? We have sugar baby in reverse. So there could be some kind of income generating thing you've been working on that's kind of going to go flat. So for instance, let's say you were really hoping for money from a specific person or set of circumstances. Well, the spirit's just trying to warn you that that could actually be going away, you know? And so you're being asked to really be careful about your money and to kind of put some money away for a rainy day. We also have competition. So another thing Spirit's wanting you to be aware of is that there could be lots of people around you who are wanting to compete with you and who are really trying to create some disharmony or discord in your life. And I want you to be cautious about these individuals because they feel at very best annoying and at worst dangerous. So please be careful. Make sure that you're trying to align with people that actually are you know on your level and wanting positive things for you not people who don't really have um any kind of good intentions because i feel like that's really really important to note so yes that's what i have my loves i hope you guys are doing well i'm sending you a big 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 hug it's always so such a pleasure to connect and we will talk later Bye bye